Hi everyone, this is Cooking with Kurt, and today my husband Donald and I are going to show you how to make a chocolate mousse cake. Yum! The bottom layer is a rich chocolate pound cake, followed by a layer of smooth chocolate mousse, and topped with a delicate layer of whipped cream frosting, and with chocolate chips. It's a delicious treat, but still quite light. This recipe was requested by Deanne Jose, Jen's Kitchen, Yummy Bite 604, and Carmen Moreno. Thank you guys so much for this request. We hope you like the video. We'd also like to give a shout out to fellow Pinoy and Filipino food lover Feliciano Balthazar at Timothy John's Salon for these beautiful new haircuts and making us feel human again. <laughs> Thank you so much, Feliciano. It was so good seeing you and everyone at Timothy John's Salon last week. It really was. Now to start, we're going to make the chocolate pound cake base. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, then take a jelly roll pan, which is 10 and a half by 15 and a half inches, butter the jelly roll pan, then line it with parchment paper. Then take a heat proof measuring cup, pour in half a cup of hot coffee, add in half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, and stir it together till the cocoa powder is fully dissolved. Let this come to room temperature. Then take a medium-sized mixing bowl and a sieve. Add in one and one fourth cup of cake flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Sift this in. Then take a separate bigger mixing bowl. Add in one cup, which is two sticks, of room temperature unsalted butter. Beat this on low speed for about one minute till it's smooth. Then add in one and one fourth cups of granulated sugar and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Beat this on medium speed for about five minutes till it's light and fluffy. Then while beating on low speed, beat in four large eggs, one egg at a time, till it's just combined. Continue to beat in the coffee cocoa mixture and then the dry ingredients adding the dry ingredients slowly and one third at a time so it doesn't fly everywhere. Beat this until just combined. Then scrape down the bowl. Transfer the batter into the prepared baking sheet and smooth out the top with your spatula. We're going to bake this in our preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean and the surface springs back when gently pressed. To prevent the cake from sticking to the parchment paper, sprinkle some powdered sugar over the cake. Then place a big piece of parchment paper over the cake, invert the cake onto the parchment paper, lift off the sheet pan, and then peel off the parchment paper the cake was baked with. Let this cool to room temperature. While that's cooling, we're going to make the chocolate mousse layer. Take some fresh eggs, and one egg at a time, crack an egg into a stainless steel bowl. Using your clean hands, separate the egg yolks from the egg whites, like this, and place the yolk into a separate bowl. Do this with three eggs, and set the three egg whites aside. Separating the eggs by hand, as opposed to the eggshell method, reduces the chances of the yolk breaking from the extra sharp eggshells. Also, it minimizes the chance of bacterial contamination from the eggshells into the eggs. Then, with an electric mixer, beat the three egg yolks for about two to three minutes till it's smooth and lemon yellow in color. Set this aside. Then place a large heat-proof bowl, like glass or stainless steel, over a pot of boiling water on medium-low heat. Add in 8 ounces of bittersweet chocolate, which is about 1 and 1 third cups of chocolate chips, and 6 tablespoons of unsalted butter that have been cut into smaller cubes. Melt and mix them together until they're smooth, like this, and take the bowl off the heat. While the chocolate is still hot, slowly whisk in the egg yolk mixture and an optional one tablespoon of brandy. Set this aside to cool till it's lukewarm. And I repeat, the brandy is optional. If you don't have brandy or if you don't want to add alcohol, just leave it out. There is no need to substitute it with anything. Next, take a mixing bowl. Add in one cup of very cold heavy cream. While beating on medium speed, 
slowly add in two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Continue beating this on medium speed till you start to see stiff peaks, like this. Set this aside. Then take the three egg whites we had set aside earlier, add in one fourth teaspoon of salt. Now using clean and dry beater attachments, beat the egg whites on high speed till it looks frothy and you see soft peaks like this. Now we're gonna fold in these aerators, meaning the whipped cream and the whipped egg whites into the mousse. When folding in aerators, we need to add them in order of stability with the most stable first and the least stable last. That's right, whipped cream is the more stable aerator here. So we're gonna start with that. Adding one third of the heavy cream at a time to temper the mixture into the chocolate mixture. Folding it very gently to prevent knocking out any of the air in the whipped cream. When the whipped cream is fully incorporated, do the same thing with the whipped egg whites, one third at a time. Whipped egg whites are the least stable area and should always be added last. Using newer eggs, always keeping eggs refrigerated and minimizing contact with the eggshells by separating the eggs with your hands like we showed earlier prevents bacterial contamination. But if you're still not comfortable preparing uncooked egg whites, we suggest using either pasteurized eggs, which makes it safe to eat raw eggs, or just leaving out the whipped egg whites from the mousse completely. Right, we encourage you to do whatever you need to do to make this dish more enjoyable for you, but just know that the resulting mousse won't be as light and airy without the whipped egg whites. Now that the mousse is ready, we're going to assemble the cake. Take a 9 inch metal cake ring and press it into the chocolate pound cake, twist it to cut the cake, and peel off the sides to make one full cake round. You won't need any of the leftover scraps in the final cake, so you can eat it if you want. Yum! Hmm. Now, take the same 9 inch metal cake ring and place it in the center of your serving plate. Then we're going to take an acetate sheet like this. It already comes four inches high and I just cut it about 30 inches long. And using the metal cake ring as an outer shell, create a circle with a four inch high acetate sheet so that it's the same circumference as the metal ring on the inside of the cake ring. Then take the chocolate cake round and place it into the ring to create the bottom layer of cake. Then take the chocolate mousse and spread it on top. Make sure you get it all the way to the edges, touching the acetate sheet and spreading it as flat and evenly as possible. Again, being gentle and careful not to knock out any of that air from the mousse. We're going to leave this in the fridge overnight, preferably a minimum of eight hours to let the chocolate mousse set completely. When the chocolate mousse has set, carefully slide off the metal ring then carefully peel off the acetate sheet to expose the layers of chocolate cake and chocolate mousse. Finally, we're going to make the frosting. Take a mixing bowl, add in four ounces of cream cheese, one third cup of granulated sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Beat this until smooth. When the cream cheese has softened a bit, while continuing to mix, Slowly add in two cups of very cold heavy cream and continue beating till you see stiff peaks, like this. Then put the frosting in a piping bag and create rosettes on top of the mousse to cover the entire surface of the cake, trying to leave as little gap as possible between the rosettes, like this. Then finally, the finishing touch to imitating the red ribbon design, take a handful of bittersweet chocolate chips mm and carefully place them on top. Refrigerate this till you're ready to serve. Then take it out of the fridge about 20 minutes before serving to let the mousse soften up a bit. Ayan ito na. Red ribbon style chocolate mousse cake. It's light and airy with rich chocolate pound cake and delicately smooth chocolate mousse. Ang sarap. Mmm. Yum. But chocolate mousse is so silky. And the cake isn't too sweet. It's perfect. Thank you all for watching. Please let us know in the comment section below if you're planning to make this chocolate mousse cake. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get notified when we post new cooking videos. Maraming salamat!